Welcome to our lecture online. Here's our second set of examples of how we multiply binomials together. Notice in this case, the x's in front have a numerical coefficient. So how do you deal with the them? Well, you can always use the, the initial approach where you take each term of the first binomial and multiply it by each term of the second binomial. You can draw some arrows and you can say, well, I can simply multiply the 2x with the 3x and with the 1 and the negative 4 with the 3x and with the 1, just like we have before. And that always works. That technique will always work for any set of, of uh, polynomials. But we have a better technique, a little faster technique. And once you learn how to do that, it makes it a lot easier and quicker to deal with it. And especially when you start dealing with factoring, you can then go back and forth and it makes it easier to see the relationship between the two. Anyway, let's use the, the initial method. Uh, 2x times 3x, that's equal to 6x squared. 2x times a plus 1 gives us a plus 2x. A minus 4 times 3x gives us a minus 12x. And a minus 4 times a 1 gives us a minus 4. Then we combine the like terms, the two middle terms. So we get 6x squared minus 10x minus 4. Or what we could do instead, we can simply say we multiply the first two terms together. So that's equal to 6x squared. Then we multiply the last two terms together, which is a minus 4. And to get the middle term, you multiply the outer terms together and you multiply the inner terms together and add it together. And if you could do that in your head without writing anything down, you can do things a little bit quicker. So 2 times 1 is 2. 4 times a negative, uh, negative 4 times 3 is a negative 12. Negative 12 plus 2 is a negative 10. So it's a negative 10x for the middle term. And of course, you get the same answer. So it's a little quicker to do it that way. Let's try it and see if we can do the others just like that. So first, you multiply the outer two terms together. So that is equal to 4x times 2x is 8x squared. Then uh, you multiply the two last terms together. 3 times a negative 5 is a negative 15. And now you multiply the numbers together. 3 times 2 is 6. 4 times negative 5 is negative 20. Negative 20 plus 6, negative 14. So it's a negative 14x. Coming up here, we'll do the same thing. Multiply the first two terms together. 3x times 4x is a 12x squared. Then we have a negative 1 times a negative 3 is a positive 3. And now to get the middle term, negative 1 times 4, negative 4. 3 times negative 3, negative 9. Negative 4 plus negative 3, negative 13. So we get a negative 13x. And this one here, again, 4x times 5x, that's equal to 20x squared. 2 times 3, that's equal to a 6, a plus 6. And then we multiply the inner 2 together. 2 times 5 is 10. 4 times 3 is 12. 10 plus 12, 22, plus 22x. And so you can very quickly multiply binomials together, even if the x's have a numerical coefficient in front of them, like these examples. And that's how it's done.